Hi everyone, it's Brenda. I'm here with a quick share video with you today. Uh, something else I've got finished. Um, I was going to do a stash busting series, uh, episode for you guys today, but I really don't have the time, so I figured I'd share with you one of the things I have gotten finished. Um, I've been working on a whole lot of stuff. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> a few things, a whole lot on a few things. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I was working with some, um, kind of, it's another cotton yarn, but it was in browns, and it was just another small, small ball, kind of like this one, you know, and every, <laughs> like, every so many stitches, the yarn was broke, so it was driving me nuts, so I had to stop, but I'm going to pick that project back up. But I don't have it to share with you right now because I had to put it away. Um, this one is a project I'm making for my daughter whose birthday is coming up in March. So I've been making little things to store away as um, over time just to get a couple things ready for her to put in a little package. And this is Crafter's Secret Cotton. It's 100% cotton and it's in the Greener Pastures colorway. I'm honestly not sure where I got this. Um, I've had it. Most of my cotton yarns I have had for a long time. They usually come from Big Lots, Walmart, hmm. yeah I think the, the ones I have left are only from Big, Wa uh, Big Lots and Walmart. I haven't bought cotton yarn in a very long time because I, I do have a, a decent amount I'm hoping to work through and then I can add as I need. But, as I was saying, my daughter loves her greens, and I confiscated one of her hand sanitizers since she's in college. She's, like, constantly using them, and I had to yell at her not to use them too much because, I don't know if you guys know, but if you use antibacterial, or, well, all soap is antibacterial, just so you know. Um, if you actually use it too much, it kind of negates the effect, and it doesn't protect you from the germs as much. So... If you can't get to a sink just to wash your hands, this is a good solution. Um, it's always, uh, sand sanitizer is really good for people who like to draw too, because it actually um, takes the oil off your hands so you don't leave it on your paper. Pro tip. <laughs> um, so I made a little cover for it, and it, this is a uh, 30 milliliter or one fluid ounce bottle, but I made a cover for it for her that she can hang on her bag. And if it has like a, a loop on it or um, a carbine clip or whatever, um, or even just the, oh, I don't even have one close by. It's kind of like the belt buckle that snap into each other. You can wrap it through here or you could just attach a button, but I wanted something quick and simple for her. Um, she's kind of rough and if she did this, I'm sure that button would fly. So this will actually hold, um, I'll show you how it goes in. A one two four ounce up to four ounce bottle in here comfortably and I mean if even if I hold it here and shake it it's not going anywhere so if it flips over you don't have to worry about them losing it um, which I thought was awesome but I really do like how this came out I mean you could put you can extend this on the side and put a flap with a button if you want to but it doesn't matter, this is super easy to put in and super easy to get out, so it can be changed. These are refillable. Um, you could tell by the screw bands, so if you get a bigger... Sorry, about <laughs> banging the side of the um, camera here. They are refillable, so if you get a bigger jar of one that you really like, the scent of, like this is lemon mint, I like how this smells, um, you can actually refill these small ones so you have your bigger one at home or wherever you want to leave it, and you could take a small travel size with you. But, again, it's super easy. It goes in, and it'll hang. I really love how that came out. And it is my own pattern. I mean, I think you could find patterns for these all over the net. I'm sure you can. But I just, you know, made one up on the fly. It's really not that hard for me, so I figured and I'd bust one out for her. And I want to thank all my new subscribers. I have seen that I have a few new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. It means the world to me. And thank you guys for sticking with me all this time. And I should be back soon with some more videos. I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day.
बाय